Yo, what's good guys? How are we doing? We're back with another tutorial video and today we are going to look at left stick dribbling. A lot of you people have been asking me for this video. Um, you watch me on my live streams over at CR16 on Twitch TV. Come and check that out as well, guys. Before we get started, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to stay updated with the videos. We're currently on the road to a thousand subs for that for that partner. We're getting there. We're getting there. So thanks for the support, guys, and appreciate you coming back and watching and dropping the likes, the comments and the feedback down below. So left stick dribbling. You guys watch my stick dribbling and you ask me how do I do it, how am I so effective at it and, and you want to know how to do it to implement it into your game. So I said, right, we'll do a video on it, I'll take you through it and I'll show you how I do it and also in-game examples of when best to use it and how we use it from defense transition to attack and inside the box to create goals as well. Let's jump over to the arena. So you just basically, if you're on the home screen, this is a really good way to practice it and I implore you all to do this to get to grips with it before you go into games of it. Let's just on the home section, go over to play. Down here, you've got skill games, go across to practice arena. First of all though, select a player in your arena that's good at skilling, so Neymar, Mbappe, Messi, the new Ribery, you know, anyone who's got really high agility and balance, um, you know, is quick and sharp. Generally, the smaller players are better, so make sure you pick someone that's smaller. Neymar's perfect, one of the best examples for, uh, for this. So if you've got a Neymar, you know, in, in your ultimate team, Practice with the normal Neymar in the arena and select Neymar as your player you're going to use. Then you're going to jump into the arena. Into the practice arena we go. Here we go. And then you'll be lined up here in the arena with the player you've selected, which is our case, Neymar, and the goalkeeper. Right, so what is left stick dribbling? I know that sounds completely stupid, but it really isn't because a lot of people ask what, what, what you're doing, what is left stick dribbling? And it literally is what it says on the tin. It's left stick dribbling with just your left stick. I've got the controller down, down here, right in the corner for you. I've made it bigger so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to start off with the basics of left stick dribbling, just pure left stick dribbling, and we'll talk about a few other techniques as well that are involved with it. But firstly, it's literally, as you can see here, I'm using left stick, as you can see, just, just moving about for now, you know, just varying, varying distances and pressing it as well. So I'm going from just subtly pressing it to faster, to deeper and deeper into the press. As you can see, it moves further and further away each time. Just going from left to right, just start just, just getting used to being delicate on the left stick and you know, getting to get to the different varying levels of speeds that you can do with last it, you know, up and down, you know, all the way around and, and again, slow it. Just get used to it, get used to controlling it with just the left stick. One of the main things people do in games is they don't, they just, they just get the ball straight away. They've got their hand on the right, the run button, as you can see there, I've got R2 held and they get the ball and they're running and running. And look at the difference. Look, look how the ball is so far away from your player. And when you're doing this, when you get the ball straight and hit and run, you've got no control of the ball. That affects your dribbling, your shooting, the player's composure, how easy it is for the opponent to get the ball off you. So you want to get the ball and literally just let it dribble. Let it dribble, get used to it, get used to moving with it. And then we'll move into the techniques that you use when dribbling to take players on, manoeuvre. You know, so watch the stick. So what you can do is you move and sharp, sharp turns with it. Just sharp, left and right, left and right, up and down. You know, just real sharp turns. This is how I do it in game. So I see someone coming out, I'll quickly, I'll turn and I'll turn back again. And I'll just be really quick with it. Really quick, really sharp. From one side to the other and then back again. You really want to be looking at the controller here, seeing what I'm doing. You know, it is so, so effective. It's, you can, you've got so much control over the ball that you can move, you know, if you go towards the keeper, you know, you can move away, you know, you, you literally, you know, you don't even need to ball roll. That's how sharp it is. It is such an effective way to control the ball. So that's just a little example there, just me showing you the difference between running with a ball, with a run, with a run, with the right R2, and dribbling with just the left stick. Like I said, get in the arena, practice with it, get comfortable with doing it, referring to games, get comfortable with moving the ball. You know, you will feel the difference when you get into it, the varying levels of pressing the stick, you can see the difference in the way I'm pressing it there. You know, just being gentle with it, being gentle with it, and then the sharp turns. The sharp turns to, you know, really bait your opponent and turn, duck and weave and get in and out. So that's the basics of Lester Dribbling. You know, it's quite difficult to show you in the arena like how effective it is, which is why we'll jump into gameplay, but I really want, wanted to show you the arena and where you guys need to go and get used to it and get comfortable of controlling it. 
you know it really is a skill even though it's a very basic thing it's just one one button on the control which is your left stick it is really a, it's a fine-tuned skill and something you need to get comfortable with doing something else you can do as well which i don't use a lot of is you build l2 and r2 it, it initiates a close left stick dribble see how close the ball is to him there see it's really very close so it's a really really fine-tuning to keep the ball close to your player it, it, you know that, that's the way of keeping it close i very rarely use it i mean i, I think it's a little bit too slow um it, it kind of takes away the sharpness of it but it is there if you want to play with it and um, one good thing that's all out of it is doing it and exits into the run you know just to bait your opponent in so, so as you hold l2 and r2 when your opponent goes let go and go into the run it's a good way of baiting them but I, to be honest with you i very very rarely use it but i, I just want to show you that it is there i, I generally just use left it and left it only Another thing that's really good to combine with Lestic is L button. So the L button initiates this face up dribbling, face up dribbling, like strafe dribbling. So you've got the left button held down here. They keep the ball in front of them. And then if you if you go backwards, you know you've got a really good way to move him backwards fastly. You know, you'll generally drag it back, keeps the ball close to him, and then you can initiate into a into a run or into a left dribble. Face up, straight into a left dribble. Again, L button, face up, into a left dribble. Face up again, left dribble. Just something else you combine. And then the final thing that I combine with left dribble in is shielding. So that's L2. When you've got the ball, you've seen a punt coming, or you feel like you might be losing the ball. R9 is really good for this, so slightly stronger players are better for this. Um, and Bappe, the new Rebury, is fantastic at this. You know, you're it dribble, you see the punt coming near, you think you might lose it, even though you're it dribbling, just initiate the shield, then let go and move out of it. That's another way of doing it as well. You will see that in the clips that are coming soon as well. You'll see me do that quite a lot. But that is the basics, let's just dribble in. Get into the skill arena, just play over it. You know, it, 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 like I said, it, there's not much to it. It's just getting used to it and the art of being gentle, moving to sharp movements with the left stick and then into subtle movements to really control the ball close to you, move in and out, transitioning left and right and being really sharp. Right, here we go, we're into the gameplay and straight away you're going to see me left it dribbling here and use it to transition out of play. Just little sharp turns there with De Bruyne and we used end of De Bruyne to get it out of defence by left it dribbling. Again here, we've got it with Mendy, you can see a little bit of left it dribbling. Um, but one thing you need to be aware of, right, this is really important left it dribbling, you'll see me here doing it, is moving away from your opponent, look at the players are controlling and moving into the space with it. Um, it really is a, it really is a positional awareness skill. You know, you want to be looking where your opponent is, who they're controlling, where the gaps are, turning some gaps and baiting your opponent in and then quickly sharp and turn sharp the turning to the other way to, to to get through and get away from the opponent. You see it here again, we're just just comfortable on the ball in the middle of the pitch, transitioning, dribbling, left it dribbling. That sharp turn that I told you about in the arena, and then we're going into a sprint, exit into a sprint is really effective. And you can see the, the great thing about it is your opponent doesn't know what you're going to do because you have so much control over it. They don't know what you're going to do. You can really, really bait them in. And like you see, three players there. He couldn't get the ball off. Leicester dribbling, turning in and out, moving into the space. You know, Rebury is fantastic at it. As you can see, Rebury is one of the best players at it. A lot, combining the ball roll there as well really effective again another example with Ribery you'll see this a lot because Ribery is literally one of the best players at it um, just keeping the ball close slow subtle movements you know be delicate with that last stick but make sure when you need to you're sharp with the turn you, you know turn into the space and move away from your opponent again there you know you just can't get the ball off you when you're doing it. If you're effective at it and you're, you're, you're really good with your positional awareness and your spatial awareness around you this, this technique it, it, is one of the most effective ways to play on the game as well. Remember, this is in Division 1 as well, guys. This is Division 1 rivals here. We're not playing... We're playing, like, good opponents. We're not playing bad opponents here. These are all elite plus verified opponents. Let's show you how effective this really is. You know, now, when we're moving on to the attacking ways of using it, you know, in the final third, outside the box, holding the ball, waiting for the opportunity to play it, just left it dribbling here with R9. You know, in and out again, left and right. The sharp left and right turn you'll see a lot there. Um, creating the space and bringing the players into the pitch. Here we've got Neymar. Keep right on the stick as well, guys. Make sure you're watching the stick at the bottom as well. Keep right on that and see what I'm doing and how effective it is and how subtle I am with it. But you can see there's generally a, a distinct pattern with it. 
it, you know, it, you're moving away from the opponent when the, the way they're facing, and then quickly shout the turn in, into the space or into the gap in between two players to move into. Best best way to do it is to do that. You know, turn away from and then move into the gap, and then initiate a run or just keep left it dribbling. In with our nine again, you can see very quick turns, couple of skill moves into. Neymar, let's just dribble there, a little turn to the right and we get a penalty from it as well, really really effective. Again guys, make sure you're watching the controller and the gameplay at the same time, or even rewind it and go back and watch the controller and have a, just a little eye on the pitch to see what I do and how I do it. But the main main point of this is to show you how I do it, how I use it in game and how I transition. I use it from a defensive position to transfer, transfer into midfield and I use it from midfield to transition into attack as well. And in the box, I use it a lot, as you can see, to create goal scoring opportunities, create space, pull players out of position and create opportunities for the other players as well to score. But for people, I would say people at different levels, uh, not really using this, Take your button off the run button, you know, take, take your finger off the run button and start to practice with left stick. Go into games, um, go into games and just literally don't use run button, very little. Use run button as little as possible and practice with just left stick dribbling. Starting from defense, moving forward. And if you don't worry about losing, just practice. Horn the skill, horn your control over that left stick and how you're dribbling with him. And practice. This literally is, it's a practice makes perfect ability. You know, it's, it, it's nothing that people cannot do everybody can do this it's just practice practice and practice and taking your time to get used to being subtle into sharp fast movements with that left stick and again position awareness is key as well and make sure you know what your opponents are doing and using them gaps to move into but you can see that we finished off with a fantastic r9 goal there's an example there took on like two to three players created the space left it turned into a shooting position and we scored right so there we go that is left it dribbling guys i'll just do a short recap you know Firstly, make sure you go into the arena, practice with it, get used to it, get yourself familiar with the different varying levels of how hard you move and how far you move the left stick and the effects it has on the player dribbling. Again, make sure you're doing this with high agility players, people that are really good on the ball, such as Neymar, Ribery, Dembele, R9, you know, even like Sterling, for example. Kent, you know, just, just a couple of players there, but there are a lot of high agility players, generally the ones with like 95 and above agility and Bappe and so on. You, you know the players, you all, you've all been playing it long enough now, we're coming to the end of the game. If not, jump on Footbin, have a look at high agility and balanced players, um, generally as well, slightly small players are better, as I said. Get in the arena, practice, get used to it, then go into your games, go into rivals, a classic match, whatever you go into, pass it to these players and don't worry about winning, just practice. Like I said, take your finger off the run button, practice left it dribbling in every single area of the pitch, get used to it, um, keep practicing it. There's nothing difficult about the left it dribbling. It is, everybody can do it. You all can do it at every level from bronze, silver to gold to elite and so on. The difference is, is you practice and how often you use it and honing it and as I always talk about in this video again positional awareness and reading your opponent's movements and using less tricks to take advantage of that and bait them out and shout return into the gaps so at any level you're at give this a go get used to it make it something that's second nature in your in your gameplay like I said it's just one button it's your left stick get used to it Make it second nature, make it something that you're really strong at and it will make a huge difference to your game in all areas of the pitch. I didn't want to go into too much detail about chain and skill moves with it and other things like that. I want to keep this just totally about left stick dribbling. So hopefully it helps, guys. If you've got any other questions about left stick dribbling, make sure you drop them down below in the comment section. Come and check us out on CR16 over at Twitch TV. Again, any questions, come over, ask them. I'm more happy to show you in game live as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as well. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.